I don't usually make videos that are this wide, so bear with me. I usually make silly short Star Wars videos, but I've gotten a lot of questions about my Star Wars armor, so I thought I would make a video going into how not to go about buying Star Wars armor, where I got mine, and vendors that I personally recommend, or how to find a good vendor. I've been costuming since 2018. I have two builds that are complete that have armor. One is Ground Crew Jin. Don't even get me started on the helmet. That is like a whole or other ordeal. I also have a Rebels Biker Scout, which is the animated version, Star Wars Rebels. And I am very, very slowly building a Stormtrooper if I would stop getting distracted making Imperial HR videos. So that's, that's me. And I have a handful of other costumes. Where to begin buying Star Wars armor? I highly recommend before you buy anything, do research, go to the detachments, see what they're talking about, see who they recommend, go to a Facebook group, see who they recommend. I always caution people against going to eBay or just doing a random Google search for where to buy Stormtrooper armor because you will get websites that do sell kits and they will look amazing, but a lot of them are overpriced. There might be better options out there that are at a better price point. I don't recommend eBay. It's often overpriced. It's often recasts. Recasting is a whole issue that I didn't intend to get into in this video, but basically it's taking someone else's armor and using it to make your own mold. That makes the armor misshapen and it makes it larger in most cases than what it is on screen. So where do you go to find the vendor? Even if you're not looking to join the 501st, I highly recommend utilizing the resources that they have built, especially in the detachments. Every costume in Star Wars has their own detachment within the 501st Legion and they have their own message board. People on there have done their research, they know who the good vendors are, and they know the most accurate way to sew together the soft part. Let's say you want to build a biker scout, you would go to the Pathfinders forum and on there you will easily find a vendor list for armor makers. The thing with armor, especially Stormtrooper armor I've learned, is that different kits fit different body types, so there's a little bit of research to do in that before you jump in and just order a kit from somewhere. Hi, my name is Larissa and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But if you've already ordered your kit, don't worry, everything is fixable. It just might require more work and more elbow grease. How much should you pay for Star Wars armor? That will depend on the kit you get, obviously, and how many pieces there are, how involved it is, and whether or not it's trimmed. An untrimmed kit, meaning you have to trim away all the excess plastic yourself, those kits should range roughly between four to eight hundred dollars depending on what kit you're looking at and then if you get a fully assembled kit that could be anywhere from fourteen hundred to over two thousand dollars again ballpark some of these makers like Walt's Trooper Factory will do sales so just keep an eye out for those and you can get ten percent off that's how I got my biker scout he was having a sale and so then I sprung on it the other thing to keep in mind when choosing a vendor is a lot of these are not companies because if they were companies Disney would have shut them down and even the ones that were official companies never delivered on their armor <laughs> Novos. So these are individuals that are working out of the garage and it'll often take four to six to eight months for them to get out a kit just because it's just one person doing it all. So save your money, look for sales, look for good vendors, be prepared to wait four to six months, and then while you're waiting you can work on assembling the soft parts. You can also start buying the tools you'll need to help you put together the armor. You don't need a lot of them, but it makes it a lot easier. <laughs> Me personally, I've had great experiences buying armor from Authentic Props. They made the Stormtrooper kit that I am slowly building. They're out of Canada. It is a little bit more expensive than some of the other vendors, but the plastic is good quality. Mark, a guy that runs it, is on top of it. He'll get back to your emails very quickly. I've also had good luck with Studio Creations. I didn't end up building that kit, but I was very impressed with the communication and the turnaround time, and I think I got my kit in less than two months. And it kind of helps to know what your strengths and weaknesses are. For me personally, I think the helmet needs to look accurate. If the helmet's not perfect, it's not gonna matter how well you build the rest of the armor. So I will often spend extra money getting the helmet built or pre-trimmed, and then all I have to do is assemble it. This is my A New Hope Stormtrooper. I still need to paint the ears. I built this, however, it was pre-trimmed. I know a lot of people have issues with the ears, and I just didn't want to mess with that and get that proportion wrong. So I spent some extra money to get a pre-trimmed Stormtrooper kit, but I did assemble it myself, so I saved some there. This is my Biker Scout helmet. This is from Walt's Trooper Factory. I paid to have them do everything because with Walt's kit, it comes in two halves and you have to assemble it, glue it together, sand it, and I am awful at seams. You can see the seam there in the back. So I didn't want to mess with trying to fill the seams and make it look seamless, so I just paid extra for that. And I was pretty impressed with 
the job that they did. Once you have a fully assembled helmet, the rest feels easy. But don't listen to me, because I'm still working on the Stormtrooper over here. Another great place to get information from other costumers is uh, Facebook costuming groups. I would not have built any of my Genersos without the uh, Generso Facebook costuming group. Couldn't you just 3D print a kit? Yeah, you could, but it's so much time and hours and finishing and spray painting and Bondo and... It adds up. 3D printing is not cheap. I prefer ABS plastic. I think it looks movie accurate. You absolutely can 3D print if that's what you want to do, but for me personally, it's way more work to 3D print and I just am not interested in going that route, but you can. Armor is truly the best. I love my generosos, but armor is special. Everything is funnier in Star Wars armor. When you're completely anonymous, you can goof off, dancing, eating hot dog, kids love it. It makes adults happy. If I could tell myself when I got into this hobby how to go about buying Star Wars armor, this is what I wish I had seen. So hopefully this was helpful to you. There are a lot of great resources on YouTube for building armor building kits. For clone trooper kits, Rex and Around is obviously great. Uh, if you're interested in Mandalorian or Bo-Katan builds, Jen Markham and Vault Fox are fantastic. I will just be back to making silly short videos unless there's more questions. Then I'll make another one of these. Thank you for the support. May the force be with you.